Let's set the scene. You're in the woods, you need a basket fast. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make one. everything harvested. So the plan is for today, we're going to see if we can make a basket each before the kettle boils. There's just enough water in there to make two cups of coffee or tea, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've both got slightly different materials. Peggy, what have you got there? So I've got some willow here. I've got some dock wood. And then I got some special basket making willow, which is like really lovely black stuff here. Excellent, lovely. And I've got um, all willow here. And this is variance between these two smaller piles here, harvested from literally an area like this on the outskirts of a forest, harvested within a week. And then some other willow here that I harvested in November time. Again, wild willow from their hedgerows and areas like this. So we'll describe what we're doing while we're doing it, but I thought mm -hmm. it's quite nice to just make a little bit of a challenge of, of it. Absolutely. See who can make a basket the quickest, but also to see if we can both make this basket before um, the kettle boils. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I am. Ready? Can I put it on? Three, <laughs> two, one. Go. Go. I <laughs> oh, don't no, wait straight away. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm going to get my stick out. <laughs> okay. So one difficulty we, we got. We are sitting too close together. <laughs> I just brushed you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So tempering the willow, making a circle. So I think we are aiming to make a smaller basket today. Something like this? Yeah, I think so. Sit nice and slowly, make your circle. I don't know if everyone can see. I think yeah. I'm gonna have to do two circles on this bit. I'll put two in because otherwise I think that will come apart. Okay. So I'm gonna go for my so other it side. It does help if the willow is a little bit longer, like mine. And that's the downside with the, some, of, some of the wild stuff. Not all of it, I'm sure I could have selected mine a little bit better. So you basically just want to make the circles similar sizes so they can actually fit together. Something like this here. Or the other way around inside any way you want it. So this idea for this video, I act, I'm actually, the reason Peggy from Connecting With Nature CIC um, and the Young Rangers from Lampeter is with us today is because it's actually Peggy's idea. <laughs> she did this for koi clail and she was just sat there making a nice simple basket. This is a great beginner's basket to make next to the fire. And I just thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool. I wonder if I could make a basket before the kettle boils. I thought that'd be a really good idea. So that's why I asked yeah. Peggy, Peggy along today. Yeah. Right, I've made mine a bit too big. I need to make my, my circle a bit smaller. Okay. I've got my two circles here now, and I'm going to attach them. Basically, just tying them together with a smaller piece of fillow. And there's it. no specific way that you're tying them, is that you right? You can do it. I think it's called a cross latching. Okay. So just go a couple of times the one way, and then a couple of times opposite way. But it does really anything you can do. Really, it doesn't matter. I love that you can use willow just like any piece of string, as long as it's thin enough, you can just bend it. Some of these, I love the colours of fresh, yeah. fresh willow. It's beautiful. So I'm trying my best to keep this nice and tight while we're tying this bit around. And then it's basically just, you want to decide which ones you handle and which way around you want your basket. I think I have this as my handle. And because you only want to fill in the bottom of the basket. This is where you need slightly thinner willow than what you've been using yeah. for the handle. Is that right? Um, or does it just depend on the Not necessarily. I'm just going to cut a bit off so I don't hit you too much. Hey, whatever it takes for you to make a basket first. That's yeah, that's it. Totally up to you. 
<laughs> I've just got more of the same willow, so I'm gonna use, I think, uh, gonna try with this semi, semi thick stuff. Yeah. It's almost like pencil kind of thickness. So for this now, um, so what I do is, you can start anywhere, but ideally you want to start just tucking it in somewhere where there's a little gap. And this is called a random weave or bird's weave, because it does look a little bit like a bird's nest once it's finished. And then I just go over the side and just really randomly start filling the basket in. And then just over, under, over, under, cross, tucking it in somewhere. I'm going to use some dockwood now, I think. Give it a bit of colour. I'm trying to just... Take a little bit of time to just figure out where to finish these off. It's like, if you've seen any of the other um, willow, the random weave baskets tutorials that I've made, sometimes, and that's kind of at this stage for us here, the start bit is the fiddly bit, and it's sort of finding out where to get things to hold in place, because at the same time you're kind of making your structure at that point. So if it starts to veer off in one direction, this is the time to fix that, not wait until it you're down the line and you've realised that you've, like I have done quite a few times, where you've made a basket four times the size that you meant to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure my first baskets were like that too. I think with this weave it's really important to find places where you can actually tuck the willow in, because I've seen people making a really lovely basket and then half an hour later it undid one piece and then everything just exploded and yeah, they had to start again. That you kind of you want you want the 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 the, the material to kind of do the work if that makes sense. So yeah. it's like as soon as you can, you're weaving it in and out, and as Absolutely. soon as you can, and you're trying to make it stick to one another. So that's why some some of the times I'm going over going over one through one over one, but then wrapping it round before I then continue instead of just going straight. Mm. So it's like so it's being held on at each point. Yeah, it's almost like you got the tension of the willow and you're just trying to use that to keep the basket in shape. So with those baskets, I actually really like that you can use all sorts of willow or any material really. And it doesn't need to be the basket making willow, it doesn't need to be straight pieces like with the um, dockwood I'm using here. If you have any pieces sticking around, I just keep weaving them all in basically. What other materials do you think you could use or, or have you used to make a basket like this? Um, well, some parts of ash, if you have really thin stuff and you make a fairly big one, they work all right. Hazel is really good as well. Yeah. Yeah. I had a go at the, uh, at, over Christmas with um, a birch, silver birch. Mm, and and nice. that was like the whole end of the branch, which had recently fallen down. Yeah. And I was able to kind of make a basket out of literally what was just left on the end of that branch. And it yeah. made it, you know, a nice pretty basket as well. Yeah. I've made baskets like that where I actually use like pine cones to decorate them or I've got some catkins here which I might use to stick around and make them look more prettier. And then it's basically up to you. You decide how much you want to weave the basket or how little. It can be really yeah, tidy-ish or it can be just really absolutely random. I love those baskets as Easter baskets, so when I teach willow weaving, we usually make them around the Easter time. They're just perfect, because they look like little nests as well. Yeah, that's actually another video idea that I'd like to maybe do, is, is, is making a, basically like a bird's nest. So I could finish mine at any time now, really. I can add a few more bits in to make it a bit stronger. But really, the structure is here now. How is yours doing? I think I potentially, yeah, once after, let me just see how much space I've got. I've got a couple of gaps that I think I could fill in and then maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying that just so it doesn't sound like Peggy's way ahead of me, but Peggy's way ahead of me. <laughs> hey, look, mine is bigger as well. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I think I would, 
even even if I was just using this for this context as like a really nice quick basket, I think my holes are still a little too big. So I think I'd probably, I need to put maybe one or two more pieces in. I think your willow is much thicker as well than my stuff. I got quite quite a lot of thin stuff. Yeah. And mine is longer, so it definitely helps if you get longer pieces. It's It is definitely quicker. So while we're almost, almost done, Peggy, tell us yeah. a little bit more about yourself and connecting with nature, see I see. We have done another video about yeah. felting a small bag, if you're interested, that would be this bag here. Mm. Um, but if you haven't seen that, where we have a chat again about, and we go into who, who Peggy is and how I've met Peggy, but, but yeah, for the viewers, let us delve into a bit deeper, Oops. please. Yeah. I know you just want me to lose the basket because I'm going to stop. <laughs> I want to be ready by the time you finish. <laughs> I'll then say, oh, well, look, I think I'm done. Hey. Well, mine is done anyway, so. <laughs> so let's just, let's just cement anyway. that there. Peggy's the winner. Peggy, Peggy's done. Okay. So now, now that you're done and you've got more than enough time to talk about, like I say, so how, how, did, we, how did we meet and. Yeah. yeah. Oh, kettle just boiling. in time, kettle uh, boiling. Just in time, yeah. Yeah, so just really quickly, um, I run the community interest company Connecting with Nature CIC. Um, started off as a forest school young rangers in Lampeter, Denmark farm. And basically, yeah, I decided to make a CIC out of it um, to get some funding and develop a few new projects. So it's not just forest school anymore. We do lots of different things, lots of workshops, work with a variety of different people, we work with children, with family, we got a home ed group, we got a um, after school club and I also work with adults and yeah. Young yeah, we met we met through the willow weaving workshops that you do. Absolutely. For, well, adults and kids. Yeah. As well as the work that we've done, the courses that we've done for Koi Clail, which is natural crafts. And then like today we're also doing some other projects. We've done some sort of what would you call them? Seasonal explainer videos, seasonal inspiration videos. Yeah, um, yeah. Just to talk a little bit about my CIC, and basically, I really love to do any sort of nature connection things. And obviously, nature connection means there's yeah, you got the four different seasons, and there's different ways how you can connect to nature in each different season. And this is basically what I'm showing in the four different videos I'm making. So after we've finished here today doing this, we're going to go record some of the winter video. And that will be on your YouTube channel, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Which but I'm going to have set, set up, up very yet. soon, but <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I'm just feeding yeah. end bits in here. How are you doing? So I think I've, I've probably done enough. 100% this is definitely just, was just enough water for two cups of, uh, <laughs> two, two, two cups of coffee. It wasn't... Uh, I didn't have to accidentally also put in another two litres later on. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so, um, and, yes, I think it's not perfect. I think I could definitely do more, but I think we're probably enough. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, should we do the test now? See if the moss first for, falls through. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. So, so you some moss. maybe want to cut a few bits off there. Have you got to get her? So. Yeah, I, I do. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, so then the idea is that you're just placing the moss in and hopefully maybe spreading it out if needed. Yeah. There you go. You can probably use any, even small grasses or something. I like moss because it just sticks together and it just looks really pretty like that as well. There we go. Wow, and nice. there we are. Yeah. I think even straight away, what someone looks like that's a much more open, nicer basket to use. Mine's a bit deeper. You probably get you probably get similar amounts in because mine is bigger and wider, and yours is deeper and a bit yeah. smaller. But not bad. Happy? Yeah. In a pinch. Yeah. You know, you could use Swap. a basket like this. <laughs> Strength test. Strength test. Yeah. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. You could definitely. Yeah collect a nice amount of stuff in that. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, it's unlikely that you're going to need a basket in 10 minutes and then you're going to need it, you know, super quickly. But it's an idea as a project for kids. 
you know, Absolutely. you're out in the family, out yeah. in the woods. You could yeah. sit, collect the materials. You could do the wrist test, tie it around my wrist, see if it snaps. If it doesn't, maybe so play with just, it a little bit more, see if it'll go around the finger, something like that. And then, yeah, if it doesn't snap, then you're off to a winner. Start yeah. weaving. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, that's it for today's video. Nice short one, I think. <laughs> thank you, Peggy, for joining thank us. Thank you. And thank you everyone for watching. If you're interested, I have made other videos. For example, the one that's just released was how to make this not so random weave basket, which actually includes some willow from, from yourself, as well as some dogwood and spruce root. And this is, I'm not still not sure what really it is, whether it's a foraging basket or whatever. I just wanted to make something a bit more artistic, but there'll be a link for this one at the end. And yeah, uh, we've got some other baskets with us that I'm probably gonna delve into versions of how to make these in the future. But for today, I'll leave you with this basket and some nice pretty pictures of the beautiful Welsh landscape. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Cheers everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Let me set this, <laughs> that's fucking stupid. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make this basket, which is a great beginner basket made in five minutes. No, it's not, that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, so well, with this one here, I just basically just wrapped it around. <laughs> is that the kettle boiling? <laughs> oh, this didn't work, it did not work.